Hello and welcome to Hank Games, sans Hank. It's all the fun of Hank Games without any of the Hank. Also, I'm not as good as, as Hank is at either video games or commentary. Today, we are, of course, the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. Or Scoodly Poopers. I haven't decided yet, but one of those two. Swoodly Poopers or Scoodly Poopers. Uh, we are decked out in our usual Swindon Town red on our inexorable march to the Premier League. And today, I'm going to tell you about how I met and courted. That was some great work by Mustachio John Green. I just wanted you guys to get a look at that mustache. I'm going to tell you how I met and courted my lovely wife, the Yeti. Um, so, but but first, uh, let me bring you up to date on the, the life of Swindon Town here. Uh, we had some injuries. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Panic! Great goalkeeping. Um... So we had some injuries, but uh, John Green and John Green are still uh, up front for us. Bald John Green and, and uh, other John Green. Look at that. Look at that play between John Green and John Green. They're still doing great together. And, uh, um, and we, uh, have had, we've had some hard times, Swindon Town. We lost a couple games, but we're still near the top of League One and uh, hoping for promotion into the uh, championship. So I, uh, I, Sarah and I attended the same high school, but we did not know each other in high school. We were not um, high school sweethearts by any stretch of the imagination. Years later, we were living in Chicago. We were both adults in the technical sense of the term. Um, Sarah was um, working at an art gallery, a contemporary art gallery, and uh, I was working uh, at, a, at a book review journal called Booklist. I was a production editor there at the time. And I was dating a girl, and the girl I was dating, her name was Jordana. She was very nice. Italian girl, uh, but she was planning on moving back to Italy. So there was there was something of a, a of an expiration date to our relationship. Uh, we knew that she was moving to Italy, and and that therefore you know probably wasn't going to uh, work out long term. That's really important because otherwise this story makes me look like a jerk, uh, and we don't want that. So anyway, uh, uh, Jordana, in addition to being Italian, um, was a boxer. She uh, she liked to uh, to box, and she was. Part of part of a boxing gym where they, where they would box, and uh, because she was she was short, um, she was paired with the other short girl who happened to be Sarah. Uh, and one day, Sarah and Jordana were talking after boxing class, and Jordana was talking about how she'd just gone to this crazy southern wedding, and Sarah said, "I am from the south," and then Jordana said, "Well, my boyfriend's from Birmingham, Alabama," and then. Sarah said, oh, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, and it turned out that we'd gone to high school together. So uh, then Jordana moved to Italy, and we broke up. I want to make it very clear that she'd moved to Italy already. And it was not even until after Jordana moved to Italy that, that uh, I met, like properly met Sarah. We went out to brunch somewhere to discuss, I don't know, being from Alabama. And I was, like, completely taken with her. She was, like, so smart and so sophisticated, and she had this great website where she had all this cool graphic design work and some of her paintings. And, uh, she used to be an artist. And um, I was just, I just, oh, she was gorgeous. She was, like, clearly the smartest person I'd ever... What are you doing, Paul John Green? You're better than that! You know, she, she really is, like, a huge, just so intelligent, blisteringly intelligent. And that was... That was a big part of the charm for me. She uh, was, you know, like completely not taken with me. I think that she thought I was kind of smart, but oh god, that's that that could be a penalty. Somehow, somehow we avoided the penalty there. Thank you, referee, for the generous call. I appreciate it. Let's get this ball up to. What are you doing? I clearly wanted to pass the ball, John Green, with the mustache over there in the corner. Oh, it's a frustrating game so far for the Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers. Um, we just haven't, uh, we haven't been able to put anything together. So, uh, she, I, I, Sarah did not want, want to date me, to be completely frank with you. I think there were a number of reasons for this, but the biggest reason was that I was, you know, like a pretty awkward uh, guy, and um, I, was, I was super uncomfortable at the time. Like, you know, Jordy and I had broken up not too long before, and I, I, I think that was part of it. But anyway, she just wasn't super interested in me. Um, but I developed a plan. And uh, I will tell you about that plan in the second half. Um, and the plan only sort of worked, but I'm, I'm still quite enamored of it as a plan. So I, I should tell you that like, around the time that Sarah and I started dating was when I sold Looking for Alaska, um, which, which factors into this story a little bit. So I, I had just um, found out that I was going to become like a, a real novelist, like that my book was going to be published by a real publisher and stuff. Um, and uh, I was 
you know, really excited about that. And I think in some ways, like, that gave me the, uh, the confidence to, um, you know, to, to, to really kind of be a, a little more uh, charming. Uh, one of the, like, deeply problematic things about confidence is that uh, until you have it, it's hard to uh, be charming, and it's really hard to be um, confident when no one likes you. But anyway... Uh, is that the end of the first half? So it's it's nil nil going into the second half, and I mean I think the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers are right to hang their heads low, including Mustachio John Green shaking his head there in the back, and of course Colchester is perfectly happy with the nil nil tie because I mean we have just that could have easily been a, there are a few times we could be behind in this game against Colchester. For all I know, Colchester is a great team, but. All right, so um, I developed a plan. At the, at the time, there was a uh, Sarah and I were both huge fans of the movie Rushmore. It's one of our, our favorite movies, and uh, Bill Murray has a memorable role in that in that film. Um, and because we had both become big big Bill Murray fans, we wanted uh, I wanted to see this movie called Lost in Translation, which was a Sofia Coppola movie that had just um, was just coming out at the time. And I so I uh, sent an email to seven of my friends, including. Sarah, and I said, uh, does anyone want to go see Lost in Translation tonight? And then I sent an email immediately afterwards to the six of my friends who weren't Sarah, and I said, not you. <laughs> um, and so Sarah emailed me, and she was like, I'd love to go see Lost in Translation. And then she was like, I love your friends. They're so fun to hang out with. Could John Green do it? He's a finisher. John Green, other John Green, hero of the day. Yes. Oh. Other John Green. That was gorgeous. That was as suave and smooth as the way I asked out my wife for the first time. So, um, oh, I'm so proud of. I'm so proud of other John Green. Sometimes bald John Green overshadows him with his big, sexy mustache. But other John Green, he's a hero in his own right. So, uh, so yeah. So Sarah was like, "I love your friends. I'd love to come hang out with them and go see Lost in Translation." And then I emailed her back, and I was like, "Oh, bummer. None of my friends can come. You want to get dinner beforehand?" Uh, and so we went out to dinner, and then we went and saw Lost in Translation, which we both really liked. I mean, it was the perfect, it was kind of the perfect movie at the perfect time in our lives for us, I think. Um, we were both, I mean, I'd obviously not, neither of us has anything in common with Scarlett Johansson as a person, but we were both sort of in a Scarlett Johansson phase of life, um, albeit not without the bad... Oh! Oh, how do you not finish there, John Green? Albeit without the... Uh, miserable marriage but anyway um so w and then and then i think i think we kissed that night for the first time but uh it didn't really take you know it was like it it didn't really take to be honest with you so like a month later we were still not dating um and um and it didn't really look like it was going to go anywhere i i i mean i think we really i think we both really liked each other but it was it's almost intimidating when when you've never liked someone that much um, like, not even romantically, but just liked them. Like, I valued Sarah. I, I enjoyed being Sarah's friend so much that it was, you know, it was a little scary to really think about dating her. Um, you know, she was so, like, I just, I couldn't imagine not being able to hang out with her anymore if we had, you know, broke up after two weeks or whatever. So, um, uh, so I was kind of thinking that it wasn't going to happen and we were just going to be friends and, uh, and we were emailing back and forth lots and lots, and it, that was really fun because, you know, she's just a great writer, and it was really... It, I didn't want to lose that. Um, uh, I, I can see Bald John Green getting set up. Bald John Green finisher! He is a finisher! Show me the mustache. Show me the mustache. Go run to him. Run to him. He wants you to run to him, and he's doing the slide. Please turn around and show me your mustache. Please show me your mustache. Oh, you didn't show it to me. That's, a dis that's the only disappointing thing about that goal is that I didn't get to see enough of his beautiful mustache. Um, so, uh, but then eventually I was like, you know what, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pursue this. And so I, did, I, 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 I asked Sarah if she had a digital camera. These were in the days, by the way, when like, most people did not have digital cameras. Like, it, was a, it was something that like, artists and graphic designers had that regular people didn't. So I asked Sarah if she had a... A digital camera and she said that she did and I asked her if I could um, come over so that she could take my picture. Penguin needed a picture of me for like a presentation that they were making about looking for Alaska and um, I've never scored on one of these so I'm sure I won't score here. I, was, I think I might have been crossing it actually. I might have hit the wrong button there. Um, let's see if we can slide tackle that guy. No we can't. 
Uh, definitely hit the wrong button, but it worked out okay. And forward and and goal. No, no, premature. Premature goal announcement. Um, so uh, I went over there and she took my picture. I, we still have the picture. I was wearing like a Carhartt hoodie, etc. And you can picture it. I was like 23 or 24. And, or no, I guess I was a little older. I don't know. I'm not good at keeping track of time. So uh, she took the picture, and then we went upstairs. She was like, do you want to get a cup of coffee? And I, I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll get a cup of coffee. And we went back to her apartment, and we were having a conversation. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to give up a goal. No, I'm not because of my heroic goalkeeper, Fat Lucas. I love you, Fat Lucas. Um, so, uh, and, and, and. I'd, I'd kind of thought that she might still be dating someone or like, I just, I was trying not to be involved in her relationship status at all. So I, uh, we were, we were just talking and, um, and she said something about how she was really, you know, that it was fun to be uh, single, that it was, you know, fun to be single in Chicago and not have to worry about um, boys all the time and be able to, you know, go out with her, with her best friends and stuff. And I said, um, oh, you're single. And she said, yeah. And I said, does that mean I can pursue you now? And she said yes, and then I walked across the room and uh, kissed her, and then we were together forever, forever thereafter, and now it's been like ten years since then or something. So that is the story of how I met Sarah. Uh, congratulations to uh, John Green and John Green, both bald John Green and other John Green, got great goals here for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. Very proud of the team and their performance against Colchester after a disappointing first half, and we are again well on our way. Uh, toward hopefully the top of League One. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, you will not see me and I will not see you and I'm not good at this outro, but there will be another episode of FIFA whatever soon. Tell me what to talk about in comments. I will pick the thing that you guys like the most. DFTBA and as always my friends best wishes.